Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. Well, hopefully we have a fix for you guys here today. This is a 97 F-150 Ford. It's got a, a problem here. It keeps burning out the fuse here at uh, fuse number 24. Uh, that's for the PCM and EEC. The EEC relay, I believe it's engine, no, electronic engine control. This one is the main power for a lot of things, okay? That one powers up a bunch of different solenoids, and it also powers up this fuel pump relay. This fuel pump relay right here, well, this truck belongs to the uncle. And after burning like $20 worth of fuses, my uncle decided to give me a call and had me tow the truck down here so we could figure out the problem. The uncle replaced the fuel pump thinking, of course, that the fuel pump was bad. And then after replacing the fuel pump, came back, noticed that, of course, the truck wouldn't start. There was no fuel uh, delivered to the, the fuel rails and the uh, relay was not actuating. This, of course, is a relay. It looks like this with the cap on. Uh, cap, cap is over here. Okay, just in case you hadn't seen one open before. So power gets delivered to this little coil. So there's a ground and a, and a power and it gives it energizes this coil and then it actuates the the relay like this okay it goes like that all right well we don't have signal so he had removed this fuel box the fuse box and if we look here to the back uh this green one right here the one that goes straight back to the fuel pump from the relay and then the wire directly above it is the one that feeds the green wire when the relay is actuated the red wire is the key on power that is used to energize the coil for the relay. And this, uh, I believe it's a blue with orange. Uh, it's a kind of hard color to tell what it is. But anyway, this uh, blue with orange, we'll call this light blue and orange, is your negative wire that gives ground to the relay. Now the red wire directly across from it was not getting any power, so when I would give it power, it would actuate the relay. This relay works in conjunction to the, the one uh, with the black wire over here, the, the yellow and black wire. See how it splices out and it goes over here in there to over here, okay? So I'm going to turn this, this fuse box around and that goes to this fuse that we were talking about that keeps blowing out so this fuse and this one are together they're linked together okay so i've noticed that whenever i would give power let me give power right quick I got my uh, power probe 3 right here uh, by the way i'll post an amazon affiliate link uh, down in the description of where you can get yourself one of these in case you you like this tool a uh, very good tool you can supply power or you can supply ground at the tip right here of this tool. And it, it also has a built-in circuit breaker in case there is a short present, it'll trip the breaker and it will not burn up your tool. So since we're on the topic of the circuit breaker of this tool, we're gonna go ahead and put it to some use here. Uh, you're still gonna see the relay engage when I do supply power here. So just to give you a, an explanation, this wire is the load side of the whole relay deal here so this wire would essentially go back to your fuel pump which of course i'm just giving you an example because this is the fuel pump relay so this wire would travel back to the fuel pump which means there shouldn't be any kind of of a spark right now because the fuel pump's not running there, there shouldn't be a ground present either because this wire should just serve the purpose to carry the current the positive current to the fuel pump okay so if i give this power it should just accept the power if it rejects it that means that there is a short in this circuit and pay attention to the tool the little lights and if there's any spark so i'm going to supply power here with my tool okay I saw some spark, so I'm gonna try to focus on both the tool and that little deal right there where we're gonna make contact. Okay, it just tripped my circuit breaker, okay? And that little, that little deal right here pops out. So I'm gonna push it back in. That just told me that there is a ground present here, which of course is what's blowing out our fuse. So let me give you an understanding of what happens here. So. So you have this prong of the relay as your key on power. 
and this other one is your ground. Once it gets both of these, once it gets a power and a ground, the power that's coming in through here, which is your main one, this is your main hot, these two can be little wires, okay? So the, these can be like, um, like five amps of power and this one can be five amps of power and then this one can be carrying like 30 amps, okay? So this wire right here, whenever I would give this wire power, nothing would happen. Everything was good, which tells me that there's nothing going on in this circuit. There's no short. Now, this relay, of course, transfers power from this side to this one, which, of course, this is the source of this fuse over here blowing out all the time. So the short was going on in this side. So now let me turn this box over. So right now, we were, we were talking about this side over here, okay? So you got your yellow wire which we said was good and the red wire is the one that red wire over there the one that's singled out over there that one is the one that's carrying the problem so that red wire feeds a bunch of different solenoids and sensors so we need to figure out which one of those sensors is being shorted out to ground because of course since we got power in something is causing it to arc like that which is a direct short to ground now there's a few typical areas of where you're going to find short to ground so generally a short to ground you'll find it where there's a wire that is perhaps rubbing on a on a bracket so we'll use that bracket as an example we have a wire sitting right here over time it's going to be rubbing with the vibration of the truck and at some point you're going to have a tear at your wire another common area of where to find a problem is near your exhaust which is actually where i found the source of our problem and kept burning out these fuses so first thing that i noticed was this o2 sensor plug was not connected which right there was the first sign that hey this uh this truck at some point probably had a uh, exhaust work done or something if we look closer you will see that that whole harness right there is resting on that exhaust so if we pull that harness out I went ahead and peeled back the sleeve the cover here uh, because you always want to double check and make sure that other wires did not get affected in our case i i could clearly see that this wire had been burned through all the way the the sleeve uh, but i uncovered about three other wires which i am holding here now the wire related to our short is actually this thicker red wire which is the one that's coming from up there from the fuse box this wire was our culprit problem that kept burning up our fuses so now that we have this here i'm going to walk back over to the top of the truck and we're going to go ahead and give this power again now that it's uncovered right and see what happens so we're going to supply it 12 volts we'll get up close to it and you see now now we're getting engagement from the from the relay okay and now this is good engagement before when when i would give this 12 volts this relay was not actuating because there was a short in, in the in the circuit so look now i'm going to supply it again 12 volt power now monitor both when i engage this wire and, and look at the relay see so now we got a clean connection and it's not tripping our our um our power probe here if you found value in this video please hit that like button so that it lets youtube know that this is good content and it can continue to push this video forward and help other viewers until next time y'all be good